Hey guys, our Castmaster Brian here. So today I'm going to do a review of the Dragon Ball, original Dragon Ball SH Figure Arts line. Um, and also show you the newest uh, addition to my Dragon Ball SH Figure Arts uh, collection. So as you can see, there are nine different ones in the line, plus this new one. Which, I'm going to show you guys, it's Jackie Chun. Here's the front. As you guys can see, it comes with a Dragon Ball, just like all the other ones. If you turn to the side. There's the back. And it's pretty awesome, he's got, he's got a microphone too with him. And he can do his special surprise attack. And here's the other side. Pretty cool addition to the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball line. Also in the line is Master Roshi. Just to compare them to each other. There they are. For Yamcha to not realize that that was Master Roshi would have been really stupid. He knew from the beginning, pretty much. Um, there's just too much of a similarity to them to not be able to realize that. So, there's those two. Then we'll put... We'll put Bomba by him, even though she's probably freaking out right now. And then there was also this Bulma. Look at the difference. Pretty pretty different difference. And then there was the exclusive color edition Bulma, which was really cool. <laughs> you got Son Goku. Kid version. Still really, really cool. He came with his Nimbus Cloud, the original one did. You had the color exclusive edition, which did not come with the Nimbus Cloud. And he also came with a different face too, which is pretty cool. One different face. Bloogie. Bloogie. Then they have Clellan, or Krellan, in the line. He comes with his rock, too, which is hilarious. I'm going to set him down there. Then for the villains. The two villains that they have right now out. Mercenary Tal. Kill you, you know. Comes with his sticking out tongue face. And it's one massive tongue. So massive that he kills people with it. Yeah, that's a weird way to kill people. And then King Piccolo. King Piccolo. Comes with the jar, you know. Really, really cool. And that, as of right now, is the Dragon Ball line. There it is. All ten figures. Only ten right now. But, they've already announced Chi-Chi. Kid Chi-Chi. And then they announced Bulma's bike. I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it right now. Those two. So I fully expect some more announcements coming in the near future. Who do you think will be the next Dragon Ball SH figure art? My guess is going to be uh, Bandit Yamcha. That would be the next one I think is going to be coming out. Thumbs up if you liked the video. 
Dragon Ball SH Figure Arts for the win. And uh, hope you liked the review. Um, I have 10 of these. My line is all the way up to 90 some. So only about, you know, well, it's about 12% of the line is Dragon Ball right now. I think over the over the time, uh, that's going to increase some. Just to give you perspective, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 Dragon Ball Super branded SH figure arts. I guess there's technically 19 because the Vegeta uh, from Resurrection F was branded as Dragon Ball Super instead of uh, Dragon Ball Z. But I'm going to keep it, or I'm going to count it as... Dragon Ball Z because it was released around the same time as Resurrection F. So, yeah, there's almost double. So you can tell where Tamashi feels that uh, people's priorities are. Um, Dragon Ball Z, there's so many, so, and they continue to pump out more Dragon Ball Z SH figure arts. So I think for the most part, the line is mostly going to be Z over the next few years, but... Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball have a home, too. Anyways, we'll talk to you later, YouTube. Thanks. Bye.